What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and welcome back to Corpse Party! <laughs> While the series is over and we have achieved our best ending, there are still bad endings that we have yet to come across. <laughs> many are bloody, many are dark, and a lot are... really short. <laughs> so I'll be saving the really long ones until much later, but for now, we're gonna knock some of the shorter ones out of the way, so... Let's go ahead and get started. I suppose the first true one we should start with is, uh, well, at the very end of the game. If you fail to, uh, get out by the end of the seventh tolling. So for this, I'm literally just gonna sit here and wait for this to happen. Also, side note, for some reason, going inside of this room stops the tolling. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it, like, it, the music doesn't play. And the bells don't continue. It's very weird. But anyways, back on to waiting for the bell to toll. Also, just to prove a point, going into the uh, menu does not stop it. Because the moment you come out, another bell has tolled. So yeah. Number six, the air is beginning to feel thicker now. The bell tolls for a seventh time. The whole school begins to shudder and sink with its vibrato? Vibrato. This school, the school day is now over. Any students still in the building may never go home again. Everything's gone dark. Did we miss our chance? No. My friends. Welcome to Heavenly Host Elementary School. There's also an alternate way to get that one, but it basically plays out exactly the same. The kids are trapped inside the school for all eternity. Wrong end. Next on our list is one I warn about early on. When coming to the science room for the uh, fourth uh, section of Naho's notes, uh, do not investigate the uh, the model here because what is this thing? Looks like a really big dude with a sheet over his head, but it couldn't be, could it? Don't even joke about that. Maybe I should take a look under the sheet. Don't you dare! Just a quick peek from below. You'll feel better knowing it's not who we're thinking it is, won't you? What is it? Scared the crap out of myself for nothing. It's just an anatomical model. Exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to find in a science lab. To, uh, s sorry. Guess I let my curiosity get the best of me. It's fine, just please don't do anything scary from here on out unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? No problem. Now, doing this doesn't seem like it's caused any problems, but the moment you go to read Naho's notes, which I'm going to throttle through... There we go. Hey! That anatomical model... Was it standing there when we came in? Oh, shut up! Now what's your problem? How many times do I have to tell you? Don't joke like, around like that. God! Why do you insist on scaring me at every turn? Do you get a good laugh out of it? What? I'm not trying to scare you, Shinozaki. I seriously think... Don't even say it! Don't even think it! I hate you! Shinozaki. 
hate. Um, except the model is moving now. The damn thing just tried to grab Shinazaki's neck. What? What? Run, it's trying to kill us. So now the door is locked and we are trapped inside of here with the anatomical model. Thankfully, it's ju it has just as smart uh, placing as the other others. But unfortunately, the big dude is also here too. Getting grabbed by either will kill you. This is the key to get out if you do do this. You have to kind of... Thankfully, uh, the big guy doesn't kind of follow you. The uh, anatomical model does. I suppose now, since he's stuck, is a good time to talk about this. Since we find Yuya's name badge outside of the place, and we see them drag off his body, it's a good theory that Yuya is actually, like, Kizami, whoop, whoop, is the amateur. Jesus Christ, yeah, is the model. He, he's the creepy, scary thing. This is further confirmed in other games, uh, such as, uh, what is it? Um... Uh, uh, what's the parody one? Uh, the point is, Yuya is seen with, like, anatomical look to him several times throughout different, uh, scenes or TV shows or other stuff like that. Uh, so it's more than likely that this is the case. Uh, that said, though, running into either triggers the same event. Let her go, you bastard! I don't know if that's the same voice actor for Kizami, but, yeah. <coughs> no! Shinozaki! God damned! And, of course, fighting it does nothing. Move, you asshole! Yeah, that worked the past five times. I'm sure it'll work now. Stop it, please. Just leave me. Run. Get out of here. Shinozaki. Don't worry. I'm going to save you. You're just going to die. Look at you. You're bleeding badly. This is an order from your class rep. Leave me. No, just shut it! Don't give me that crap! I'm not Satoshi. But I'm going to protect you anyway. Damn, if this keeps up, I'm a goner. There's gotta be some way. The gas burner. That's it! Eat this! So now the thing is on fire. You jerk! You dumbass! Shinozaki. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. You stupid! I hate you so much! <laughs> Sounds like a happy cry to me. I guess that means you're okay. Don't die! Don't die, damn it! All right, all right, already. You stop crying, Shinozaki. I want to see you smile. I love your smiling face most of all. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not dead, and now Yoshiki is going to burn alive. No! Shinozaki, run. No. <laughs> Yummy. The last one we'll have a look at here involves us being here. Now I mentioned that there's a bathroom down in the basement, if only just very briefly. And that's because if you recall, well, Yuka needs to go to the bathroom again. This doesn't really go anywhere, except if you're foolish enough to do this. Uh, when Naomi leaves to track down Seiko's body, because... Yeah. 
Uh, the bathroom heads off in the opposite direction to this save point. Going in here triggers an event and locks you into this path. Big brother? Oh, bathroom. Wanna give it a shot? Yeah? Be careful where you step, okay? Okay. Uh, going in the boys' bathroom serves no purpose. Just walk into the other one, I guess. Whoops, I got stuck. There we go. Yuka! Yuka, you in here? Uh-huh. Alright, just checking. Eek. What's wrong? Sorry, I just got a little startled. Something that looks like blood started pouring into the toilet. I thought it was going to overflow. That's not good. Try to finish up and get out of there quickly, okay? Okay. Naomi, where did you go? Why is it that just your absence is enough to make me feel so alone? Big brother, it's okay. You should cheer up. I'm here for you. I'll protect you. Damn it. I let my guard down. I must have had a really sour expression on my face for her to say something like that. I guess she's worried about me again. Thanks, Yuka. You're a good girl. Yuka, is there a boy you like? Why do you ask? Oh, now we get into the really weird parts of uh, Corpse Party. Uh, I just want to know. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. There is a really cool boy in my class. I see. Are you going out with him already? How old is she? <laughs> Th that's not really any of your business, big brother. Besides, how could I ever go out with a boy? It's scary. He sure, why not? Yeah, let's go with that. Well, I hope you can at least work up the courage to tell him how you feel at some point. That's where I need the help, most help myself. I still haven't said a thing. And I don't. Ever, as far as I know. But really, she's always getting into it with me. Always getting violent and, and controlling as soon as she sees me. And whenever I state my opinion, she always counters with the opposite opinion. And does a much better job of justifying it to boot. I believe what you're describing is a sundari. She's strong-willed and she's ornery. But if I ever lost her, I'd feel so alone. I might as well be dead. I didn't realize it until she ran off just now, either. I didn't realize that I'm in love with her. Naomi must still be somewhere in these tunnels. She has to be alive. She has to be. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Big brother. With this scene out of the way, you are now free to complete the game, um, normally, so... I'll catch up with you when I have to run from the timer. I just realized Sachiko isn't also, uh, Sachiko also doesn't appear to be attacking Yuka in this version. That's a bit weird. Also, I just noticed that the other- whoa, nope. Uh, that the other ghost is in the bottom right, but you can't see it. As well. Just side minor notes. Also, as another side note, Naomi didn't come in the room this time. Though I think I got it right this time. Uh, I still had to chant six times because she shows up, I think. I'm not actually really sure. I assume she'll meet up with us maybe at some point, but now I'm on the run. So, 
there's that, I suppose. There we go. I just barely made it outside. Just barely. All right, let's see how this plays out. Made it. All we have to do now is climb over this fence and we're home free. Okay. We're still down in Naomi. Big brother, what's wrong? Naomi. It's Naomi. Oh, big brother, wait. Naomi, I knew it. I knew you were still alive. Oh, great. There's the big guy. Satoshi. Big brother! Don't scare me like that, please. If I ever lost you... It's the accomplice and he's holding a pair of scissors. Big brother! Uh, Yuka! No! Also, that wasn't really Naomi. Yuka, come on, pull yourself together. Yuka, Yuka say something. Please. Big brother. Yuka. Yuka, stay with us. Big brother. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I keep telling you, you're not too bright, big brother. Yuka, your stomach. I didn't realize the wound was this deep. It's okay. I won't die. If I died, you'd be all alone, big brother. So don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, big brother, for lying to you. Lying? Remember when I told you there was a boy I liked in my class? Yeah, I remember. The boy I like isn't from my class. There's nobody. Nobody for me but you, big brother. Thank you! INCEST FOR THE WIN! I just ruined this heartbreaking moment, but, eh, That's what they're implying anyways. I love you, big brother. More than Naomi does. More than anyone. I love you. Yuka. Yuka. What are you? Even in Japan, this is taboo. We can't do this. But when we're at home... All you ever talk about is Naomi. You don't care how I feel. What are you saying? I love you too, Yuka. We're family after all. That's not the kind of love she's talking about, bro. No, it's not what I'm talking about. Not as a family. Not as brother and sister. I just love you. I really, really... Man, her stomach is really bleeding. The wound just keeps getting bigger. Isn't there anything we can do for her? God damn it! Big brother? Satoshi? W what is it? What are you trying to say? I don't care if it's a lie. Just please tell me you love me too. Uh, 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 I'll honor her dying wish. I do love you. I love you so much, Yuka. Big brother. I love you too, big brother. Yuka's eyelids fell closed slowly and unwillingly, never to open again. 
Her body was curled into a fetal position and her skin was cool to the touch, as it often would be when fast asleep. How do you know that? She had a peaceful expression on her face, as of a girl in the safety of her mother's arms. It was only after she was gone that I realized, just now, just how much she'd meant to me, and how much Naomi meant to me as well. And with that, only three of our surviving possible five have managed to escape. I glanced at my watch. Watch. It was right around nine. I can't even say how long I stood there in front of my house, afraid to go in. How could I possibly break the news to Yuka about our parent? I switched words around. News about Yuka to our parents. Oh, well, you don't have to. If the ending proved anything, they don't fucking remember. Welcome home, Satoshi. Did you get wet out there? You're awfully late, you know. Well, boys will be boys. Once we're, once we're out that door, a whole world of possibilities await us. That's just as true for girls, you know. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, dear. Dad. Mom. God, look at you. You're soaked. Dry yourself off before you track up the place. And once you've changed, it's time for dinner, so come right back downstairs, okay? I was so dumbfounded by the obliviousness of my parents to Yuka's absence, I completely missed any chance I might have had to tell them what happened. But I couldn't keep it to myself forever either. I collapsed on my bed trying to figure out the best way to broach the subject. When I noticed a tiny box on my desk, adorned with a ribbon. Next to the box set an index card with a message on it. To my dear big brother. Yuka. Yuka. Did you leave this here before you came to bring me my umbrella? Inside the box was another index card. Biz, no prize for you. Too bad. But you know what today is, right? It's a big anniversary for the two of us. I've got something very special to give you later after you get home, that is. That's creepy. What was that? Yuka's room is connected to mine by a single door. And that's the only way in. To get into her room, you have to go through mine first. God, that's annoying. And it was from that room, a room that should have been empty, that I heard the sound of something rustling. I figured I could peek in through the keyhole so as to not arouse suspicion, and when I did, I saw a very familiar eye looking back at me from the other side. You... Big brother, I'm so lonely. Wow, this actually isn't considered a uh, bad end. I'm genuinely surprised. It's just considered another ending. That's actually kind of neat. I guess this isn't technically a wrong end. Whatever, I'm throwing it in with the wrong ends because... Mm, fuck it, why not? Anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So, next time, I've got more wrong ends to spare. Because, boy, this chapter is loaded with them. So when next we come back, I have a few more short uh, bad ends before we get to the good ones. <laughs> so until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta! <laughs>Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Corpse Party. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. 
Now it's time to watch these teens wander around this hellish landscape in hopes of trying to escape. But everyone knows the best kind of party is a corpse party. Cause a corpse party don't stop until everyone's dead.